Hello, today we're here in Hunterdon County where we're going to be doing a system walkthrough. Uh, we offer this complimentary with every single system that we install. So let's go take a look at the inverter. So we're starting with the two inverters that we have right here. The power is flowing off the roof coming down through the copper wire which is in this conduit which is then entering both inverters. The power here is being converted from DC direct current to AC alternating current, which is the type of power that you're using in your home. At the inverter itself, you will always be able to see if the system is producing power. If there's simply a green light on, the, on in the inverter, you know it's making power. You will always be able to see this on the monitoring app as well, which you'll have access to on a tablet, a computer, or your phone. From the inverter, the power flows through the disconnect switch. This is ultimately a kill switch that turns the whole entire system off. You can do this in the event of an emergency, or if there's ever a, something going on with the system, you can go through a reboot process. From here, you will go through the SREC meter. The SREC meter is measuring your system's lifetime production, and from there we go down the conduit where it then enters into the ground and meets up eventually with the utility line. So we're gonna go take a look at the utility meter so we can go over the net metering process. Now we're outside at the utility meter. This utility meter is a net electric meter and it is going to be measuring the power that you send to the grid and the power that you receive from the grid. You will be sending power to the grid if you're producing more power than you're using in the home and you will be receiving power from the grid if uh, the system is not producing any power or you're not meeting your demands in the home. The utility company is going to come read this meter once a month like they always do if there's a surplus, if you've produced more power, that excess gets banked and it can be carried forward as a credit through the following months. If you fall short in that month, the first thing the utility company is going to do is they're going to rely on that credit, that bank that you've built up in the previous months, and then they will deduct from there. That's going to conclude our video today. Hopefully you found it informative. For any questions or inquiries, please contact Green Power Energy.